Hey everybody, Will here with Tom Cruise Studios, live music in Austin, bringing you another episode of Three Beers and Whiskey. This is episode number two featuring Sim Ross. Whiskey and beer number three. Like 15 years ago, and this little band I was in really wanted to play the saxophone. So, the what? The saxophone. And this was 2000. Right there, I saw the saxophone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So, we were just a little know nothing band, and we really wanted to play. So, we decided we were going to. Called David Cotton every day for three weeks. Oh, I'm not sure Dave was love that. I'm like Twenty, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wait, you were twenty? We were oh, so that was like five, six years ago. Twenty years ago. So. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so, so he finally, he finally uh, called us back, right? I don't know how many times we called. Him. And he's like, he's like, great. I need you guys there Tuesday at one o'clock in the morning, right? <laughs> So, oh my god. Right, so, so, and y'all are like, yes, 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 we are like, I'm like, mom, you gotta be there, <laughs> right, I'm like 20, like, you know, everybody I know, if you're not there, you're dead to me kind of thing, right, this is the <laughs> biggest day of our life, right? holy so we go, god. we have a pretty good turnout, we play it section Tuesday one, it was a load of fun, I mean, we, we weren't good, you know, we're just young kids learning how to be in a band, right, so then, you know, we're super excited about it, we go by, and Dave calls us back, and says, great, hey, love to have you guys back, Wednesday at one o'clock in the morning, and, and and I didn't realize until much later. Like, I mean, sometimes you have to do that once, but never do it more than once because you just become that band for them. And yeah, it that doesn't matter. Bill if you're good band or, on the yeah. It's like going to play for a hundred bucks. You go play for a hundred bucks somewhere. Sure, you can do that once. But if you ever do that again, no matter no matter what, you'll still only be. They're like, well, bucks. but last time you played, it was only a hundred bucks. I mean, in that other band I was in, we, some of those relationships we had that were really good. When we, you know, we had four singles on the radio and we're doing really well, and they're like, "Yeah, we're, we'll, you know, love to have you for one hundred and fifty dollars and two beers." And I'm like, "You can go." Wait, wait, one hundred and fifty dollars and two beers <laughs> per guy, right? right? So, right, yeah. I mean, like, like oh, oh, I. Uh, and, and Austin, the the talent in Austin will do that to you because there are a lot of good bands. There definitely are at least a lot of pretty good bands, like all, like hundreds of pretty good bands. So, oh. so if you if you allow yourself to get kind of put in that space of a pretty good band. I mean, you're going to stay there. Well, no, you can get put in that space of a pretty good band, um, but don't let that control, you know, your your destiny, so, so to speak. And like, oh, well, they're that band. You're like, no, no, no. You can go balls up and be like, yeah, okay, well, that was then, but this is what we got. Right? No, for sure. Oh. No, and it's cool, because they don't mind. Cause they, and they got another pretty good band, they'd be happy to have it. Exactly. Yeah. And the crazy thing is, okay, so that club says, yeah, okay, well, all right, well, we thought we'd get you for 150 bucks for all four of you for two hours. Right. <laughs> but, but then, you know, go a block down to the next club that says, how much? Yeah, sure. Come on in, man. Sure. We, we want you. Right. So that's the love-hate. And that's why when you were, I asked you the question about, like, what you're feeling about playing in Austin, how you appreciate and liking it, because it really is, um, I mean, two, three years ago, you said two, two, three? Okay, so you've been hanging around here and you've been around for a while that it's this ridiculous battle Austin is having with itself, such an identity crisis, mm -hmm. stupid, about like, oh, well, we're the live music Austin, live music capital of the world, um, but you know our musicians don't live in Austin and they play for nothing mm -hmm. and so we're trying to like how do we fix all of this right. which is a lot of talk but um, you know the fix is going to come from the musicians mm -hmm. is where it's going to come from um, the, the city can mandate whatever the hell they want um, and, and tell clubs or you know, there's times for this or, or times for that, or uh, they need to be paid a living wage, or it. you know, I've got a buddy who's on the music council actually, and uh, and, and I will say, not that I give you know water, okay, not cool. that I give a whole lot of credit to uh, everything the government's trying to do, but in general, they are trying to creatively solve some problems. He tells me about some of these things, yeah, and there is really some 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 good things happening, but. What you said is really true because as much as there's the Austin music scene, there's not the Austin music scene. Mm -hmm. you, know, you really have like a collection of a couple friend bands and a couple, a couple of people, but there's no real collective. Mm -hmm. And as long as there's no real collective, you know, 150 bucks for two hours for a band is what you're going to get, if that. You know, I yeah. happen to know a, somebody who books pretty much all the clubs downtown. It's four hours, no breaks, high energy covers only, 
Uh, 200, 300 bucks per. Oh, wait, wait, is that in San Antonio or Austin? It's here in Austin. Oh, and high energy covers in Austin. Right. So, that's and that's, so that's on 6th Street where that's okay. where that's yeah. happening on 6th Street. Yeah. Dirty 6th. But my point really being if. Uh, <laughs> oh, that's one of your bands. Uh, oh. That's yeah. what they offered me to play, but oh, then okay. I got another one of covers. So, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, we're, we're like all yapping over on the side over here. Uh, Felicia, our, who's running our internet on the side. The uh, sidelines. The sidelines. She uh, she actually is a, an amazing singer. Awesome. Play guitar. The girl is badass. So we're working on getting her, but yeah, she's getting an offer of what you were saying. Yeah. I've played a lot of covers. I've been in this month. Yeah. And, yeah. and if you don't, if, if you're new to the scene, or you're a solo artist, or it's you and one other person, like 150 bucks, okay, cool, shit, I, I like doing what I do, right. so I can do sure. that, and it completely is tearing down what you guys right here sitting in front of me are doing, which is, you know, we've got our originals, and that's why I asked you, I made the cast a joke about like, wait, are you talking about San Antonio or Austin? Because I have tons of friends, musician friends here in Austin, that play in Austin, that are from Austin, and then they can't book gigs in San Antonio or other cities because one of the first questions they ask is like, oh, well, what covers do you know? And they're like, oh, no, we do all originals. Like, oh, no, no, we need, and like, you guys are, as musicians, as, as here in Austin, y'all are the soul of what the city is. Y'all are what makes Austin the live music capital of the world. And, and you know, Sim Ross and your band and, and everybody else watching, listening, and going out and listening to live music, the bands that are out there, they're the ones that are in control of it. Man, we're going down a politics path and awesome music. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. I got handed. Let's see. Uh, There's more coming. What? Oh, you've got more over there? Okay. Uh, I can't even. What the hell? I'm not. I, I know I'm, a, I'm, I'm two and a half beers in and <laughs> a half a whiskey, and I'm like, hey, I'm just. Wait, that's. <laughs> the thing about vinyl that's so cool is it's tactile, it's like physical, well, right? So when you, like so when you listen CDs to an old record, the next generation after that, yeah. So if you play like a, you know, Please Please Me Beatles original pressing, mm -hmm. it's going to sound like crap, but that, the way that it sounds like crap actually will kind of sound good to you. Well, yeah, it has well, that part the, of the the you know, how all these sounds. Yeah, but people like, identify with that. You will yeah. now. Now, if you like, I have a Jamie also bought me a new pressing of that record, or a newer pressing of that record, like an '80s pressing or '90s, something like that. And uh, it sounds better, you know, but it still has that that thing. But the thick pressing yeah. just makes it's just like more sound waves. Um, I, I guess they can. Cut the grooves deeper. That's, mm -hmm. that's literally a thing. It's not even just a saying. It's literally a thing, and it does sound better when the grooves are cut deeper. So you have to have a thicker, heavier. <laughs> but it's it's worth it. I, I, am, am you learn something right now? Yeah. There we go. Yeah. 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 If if we get around to making a record, I'll definitely want to. Oh man, I'm telling you what. Uh, I, so it's pricey to make vinyl. Like <sighs> that's yeah. crazy. I think that it's, it's real pricey. I mean, I can make. I can understand yeah. where yeah. first of all, digital is nothing to do. That's well, the record of all of everything. The record is like twenty grand, so we can start there. But after the record, <laughs> after the record, digital's cheap, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, and then well, yeah, you got to pay for the production, the ma uh, mastering, and, and once we get to this point, right. sure. Um, but uh, you know, and then you got CDs, which is like that's the next tangible thing, right. and that's you're like I'm happy to get that from you guys, get y'all to sign this before y'all leave, and then we have you know the old school which is a new band going hey we're going to put out our album on vinyl that is such an exciting thing so like excuse me one thing that's really cool when uh when i made the last record that i made now that man at the end of every night we um, our producer had a really nice vinyl and we listened to brian adams every night after we cut <laughs> And okay. I'm telling I know you, just, it just sticks with me. It was just so like vibrant. It sounded, and of course, he had a very nice system. But yeah, I mean, it was it was amazing. So. Gotta admit, classy, classy live show. Where, like the host is like, I gotta pee. Peace out. <laughs> <laughs> um, so uh, do a, a check on where we're at right now. Is that me and Sonny are actually on our third beer? We've yeah, that whiskey's. 
Close. Very that's, close. Yeah, that's a sip away from being done. Yeah. So, um, and this did come off the internet. Whoa. Whoa. Somebody so, the internet. somebody wanted to know. Somebody wanted a shout out and they were testing. Well, this. they said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they are they listening. They're sending questions. They got the shout out. Somebody and then the next thing that comes back is. And this happened last, <laughs> the, the first show we did, and I explained this to you, and I, I believe we really related to the guys, is that three beers and whiskey is is literally just that. We sit down, have three beers and whiskey, bullshit about whatever. There's no requirement to play because it's not a show, it's not a you know. But the question did come across is, will you guys play a song for us? No? Okay. All right, cool. So, anyway, we're going to finish our beer. I already right, turned the guitar, so... Uh, and wait, I that was right, right before we went live. Yeah, like, yeah, now, uh, there's... Do... Uh, Sim, do you need a guitar also? I think he's going to... Oh, shh. No, 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 yeah. Somebody so, asked, okay. Yes, Cody? So, it, <laughs> so, in case you didn't actually hear it coming from the internet side of the room, is the, the legit question was, would you play a song for us on the Corey Morrow guitar? So, that was Macy. That thing's going to become a staple on this show. You want to give it an A? Besides the goat. Yeah. Oof. Ooh, holy crap. So, um,. Yeah, and uh, I can't wait until you get to the point where you have the Sim Ross guitar right. that's all vinyl. We'll do some giveaways. Yeah, sure. because you know I've heard that these are the like highest quality guitars that's that are vinyl wrapped. And that's recording. Is that recording? Yeah. Isn't that like for high school bands or something? You know, it's a, a guitar. It's got yeah. strings in it. Yeah. So, um, I, I definitely, since we're digressing and moving in that, holy crap, the dude brought his own picks! No, oh, and he brought his own capo. Damn, they weren't prepared to play at all. Not at all. We might have watched the first episode. Ah, well, <laughs> that's much appreciated. So, um, let's, uh, salute, touch it, salute. Yes. And I promise those guys in um, Ireland yeah. are appreciating us doing that. So I'm uh, keeping I will, I'll, that's that's a, a special cast of. I'll show you what that is. That's it's different. Yeah, it's a little bit different than what they scrape. Yeah, yeah. It's smooth, but not not soft. But it's also like <laughs> hot. It's yeah, nice. and it's hot. Yeah. Whew. So anyway. What is it called? You got the I got the I got the I got the I got the So, I got the Jimbe. I got the I like that song. I heard what you said, man. I got the I got the Jimbe. I got the Irish I so I figured it fits. So, Oh, we haven't. Two, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So, as Sim Ross, the band, the two of y'all have never played acoustic guitar together. No, not in any not in any context. Not at my house, the day we met. <laughs> we didn't have the first guitars. No, we never, never. That's the first. You're listening, right? This is freaking awesome. So. So, very much appreciate you guys coming over tonight, hanging out with me, having a few beers, um, talking about your lives, music, aspirations, and uh, looking forward to all the good things that are going to come from Sim Ross here in Austin. And uh, what song are y'all going to do right now? A song called Winding Rivers. Uh, Winding uh, Rivers from Mother's Day, Mother's Day Blues. Blues. So, all right, I'm going to back up out of this a little bit, and uh, I'm going to let these guys do this, man. All right, everybody, there you go. Thank you very much for tuning in to this episode of Three Beers and a Whiskey. Make sure you come back 
and look for the video link for the after the interview performance by Sim Ross with The Laughing Heart. Thank you for watching Three Beers and Whiskey. Make sure you hit subscribe and the notification button. That way you don't miss future videos from Three Beers and a Whiskey.